everyone, this is Crystal, and today I have a page in my 2019 Project Life album using the December kit from Citrus Twist Kits. Um, this is the Hustle and Heart kit. So when I got the kit and I saw these two little mushroom die cuts in the ephemera pack, I remembered that I had this page in uh, my Project Life album. This is all the way back in April, I believe. Yeah, it's the end of April. It's the last page in the first volume of my Project Life album, which is still not done, um, but I'm very close to getting it finished. So um, I tend to be a pretty literal scrapbooker. If there is a, a die cut of a mushroom, I want to use it um, someplace where there would be mushrooms like the woods or in actual pictures of mushrooms like these. Um, and obviously these are morel mushrooms in the pictures, not fly agaric like the ones here, but um, I'm not that literal. So I, I'm fine using um, these with this page. So uh, the story here is that um, Jesse, my partner, likes to go mushroom hunting. He went several times this year, um, and this is several years in a row when he hasn't really found any. I think he found three maybe last year and then didn't find any this year. So we ended up going to a local uh, mushroom festival. It's a rather large mushroom festival uh, where they sell them. And he just bought some instead of trying to find them on his own. He doesn't seem to have much luck. So that's the story I'm telling. I did write journaling for this page back in April um, when we took this these pictures. So I do have that to type up. Um, so I have just little bits and pieces of this kit out here. Um, that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to put you on fast forward and just play around. I'm going to start by picking out my journaling cards for this spread. Um, I have used a few of these cards already. I've done a few projects with this kit, so this is what I have left. Um, but there are still lots that would work really well for, for this spread. So I've chosen a couple that I think might work in the top left corner. And then um, I had chosen the one about counting blessings, but it just was too much white. So I thought I would look through the pattern papers to see if there was one that might work that added a bit more pattern or color to the page. And I found this wood green one and it's absolutely perfect. So I decided to use it. I'm going to trim it down to three by four. And then I've chosen the, um, the card that says what's yours will find you for the top left corner. Um, just because it had a bit more black on it. And again, I thought it worked best um, with all of the black in the photos. So I know I wanna use those mushrooms, of course, so I'm gonna be sure to get those on the page right away and then build up some, some clusters around them. So the wood grain paper is gonna be the base for just a filler card. And my journaling is gonna go on the journaling card. And then I just have a few other things that I want to add to the other photos. This spread actually came together really quickly. Um, so you may notice that the video is slightly less sped up. It's slightly slower than normal, uh, just because it would have been only a couple minutes long if I had left it at the speed I normally uh, speed things up to. So um, I would love to know if you prefer this slower speed or if you like the more sped up. I generally like more sped up videos, but um, I want to do what, what you guys like to see. So just let me know in the comments below if you have a preference. Uh, so I had pulled out some die cuts um, from the kit ahead of time, things that I thought might work for this spread with the colors uh, that I knew I'd be using. Those are from the uh, die cut ephemera pack that came in the Hustle and Heart kit, as well as the printable sheet from that kit. So all of the Citrus Twist kits come with a, a digital printable ephemera sheet that you can cut out by hand or put through a die cut machine if you have one. I generally just cut them out by hand uh, because I kind of like the process of fussy cutting all the little bits. Um, so I had pulled those out and I've picked out a few from what I had narrowed it down to to use on this page and it's basically going to stay exactly like it is right now. Uh, I do want to do some stamping. So you saw me looking through the stamps from December. Uh, I have the stamp set that came with the Hustle and Heart kit right now, that's what I'll mostly be using for this spread. Um, I thought it was perfect because it has kind of a, a guy theme, like um, phrases that kind of celebrate the men in our lives. And since this is a spread about uh, my guy, I thought it would be a good one to use here. So I have that label that I added to the um, picture of the frying pan and I'm going to stamp the phrase oh my on the top of it. Um, I was just looking because I thought I had seen a 
a phrase that said something like right now or currently and I was looking to try and find it to see how big it was so that I could leave space on this label to add it below the oh my um, but I, I was having a hard time finding it and then I realized it was on the stamp set that I was already using so I eventually find it I pull it off and I'll stamp currently right underneath oh my and before I stamp all of these stamps I am just using a sand eraser to prime them um, I haven't used most of these already so um, they are brand new uh, so that sand eraser just kind of helps smooth out the surface and helps it adhere uh, to the ink or helps the the ink adhere to it a little bit better so that you get a crisper cleaner image uh, it just helps kind of remove any residue that's left over from the processing of the stamps etc okay so I am adding another cluster to the top of the other photo on the spread um, I used a label and just a little banner shape die cut um, the label just helped that banner shape stand out it was a little bit too small on its own um, so the label doesn't really do anything but add a bit of red up there and uh, give that that die cut somewhere to live um, and I was just making sure that I got it high enough on the photo so that um, there wasn't an awkward space it did have a kind of arrow shape at the top that I cut off um, but you could still see a little bit of the cutout which um, just kind of looked awkward so I, I made sure I got it high enough on that photo um, that you couldn't see that it had been an arrow okay so my journaling is going to go on the um, the white card there and normally I would type up my journaling before I add any embellishments but um, I want to make sure that the journaling kind of hugs that mushroom and flows around it so I'm gonna go ahead and adhere that mushroom down first and since it's flat it'll still go through my typewriter without any issue Right now I'm building up the layers on this filler card. So I have a couple labels um, that I've added to the back and then I've added that mushroom and I'm also adding a little black and white striped chipboard heart from the chipboard set that was in this kit. And that's gonna be it for, for that filler card. Uh, before I type up my journaling, I just wanna add one more stamp. There was a stamp in um, the stamp that came in this kit that said well that's one way to get it done and I thought that was pretty perfect it was too long to fit across this journal card um, so I decided to just partially ink it and stamp half at a time there are a couple ways you could do this you can cut the stamp in half and just place it back together if you ever want to stamp it as a whole stamp um, or you can do as I'm doing and just ink part of it and then clean the stamp and then mask off the other part the second time you stamp it just to make sure there isn't any uh, residue which works really well um, except that I tried to use a piece of packaging to do it I should have used the backing of the stamp that clear plastic piece that would have made it a lot easier uh, that packaging was a little bit thicker and then I didn't get nearly as good of a of an image as I would have um, but for some reason that's what I saw and that's what I grabbed um, but in the future I will definitely try to remember to use the backing of this stamp instead okay so there is my journaling all done and that is the spread finished like I said it came together really quickly uh, I hope you found some inspiration for using your December kit and I hope you enjoyed this spread I will see you all back here very soon